What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Universal mastery, okay? What exactly are we going to be talking about in our today's video, okay? I'm going to be discussing literally the most important spiritual slash occult practice from my perspective that exists, okay? I'm going to be going into detail about this specific practice and how this practice can literally completely transform a person's life for their benefits. And truly, this practice that I will go into is super, super practical and super simple to do. Anyone can take advantage of it, but there are many people who do not make that first step, okay? If you want to know exactly what this practice is and learn more about this specific practice, then you have one thing to do, and that is simply to stay tuned. Okay, so let me give you a little bit of a perspective of who I am, just in case you're new to my channel. My name is Jeremiah Schwartz. I am a professional occultist. I am fully initiated in the entirety of the Kabbalistic tree. I'm studied when it comes to the 22 major arcana of the tarot deck, and I'm also studied when it comes to planetary energies in direct association with astrology. Okay, so now let's move into this topic. Okay, so there are a lot of people that I'm sure have the question deep inside of their own minds as to what practice can I perform? What spiritual practice can I do? What type of maybe even ritual can I take advantage of that is going to be the most powerful thing that I can get my hands on or that I can perform? Okay, and there are a million different spiritual practices. There are a million different rituals you can do. There's so many different opportunities that exist when it comes to spiritual and soul self-development and all these different opportunities and all these different avenues that this can go down are all wonderful and they are all truly valuable. But to my perspective, there is one specific practice that I personally feel like, and one of the reasons why I feel like this is the case is because this was the case for me as well. Now, maybe it can change a little bit. Maybe there are other people that have a different perspective, and they find that other types of practices suit them better and are more valuable. But from what I've been able to experience, from my own journeying, within the occults in my you know, spiritual evolution, what I've been able to obtain is this understanding that this specific practice that I know that is extremely practical is literally one of the most important practices that you can start applying on a daily basis, okay? So at this point, as the listener, you're probably wondering, what is the practice? Just spit it out already. Okay? So here we go. The practice is the art of invocation. Okay? Invocation. Okay? What exactly is an invocation? An invocation, generally speaking, is a call to a specific type of spirit or a specific type of entity and this call is meant to pull that energy into your own being so that you can start working with its energy field so that you can start understanding it or start communicating with it okay why is this practice a practice that me Jeremiah Schwartz thinks and even recommends to other people as being literally one of the most important practices that you can 
apply in your daily life or apply to your routine, okay? The reason is, is because by sending out a call to a specific energy, you are opening up many different doorways when you're doing this, okay? There is true power when you call, okay? There are forces that exist in our universe that are clearly higher dimensional forces that are unable to really influence you and your life because of the law of free will up until the point where you open up the doorway and say, I am now actively calling. I am asking for help. Okay, I'm calling, so I'm giving you the okay to come and influence me now. Okay? There is power when you open up those doorways. Just like in real life, when you need something done and you need it done urgently, one of the best ways to allow yourself help is to say, I need help, or to call on someone that you know can help you with a specific situation. There is power in calling. So the same way we can see how this power manifests in our daily lives, when you need something, you call somebody that you know that can help you. Imagine applying that same concept to something that is more so interdimensional in nature. Something that is not necessarily seen by the two eyes, but something that is understood deep within the soul and deep within the unconscious. Okay? So with that being said, there is real power to calling, and that is exactly what invocation is all about. There are many ways to structure your own call. There are many ways you can call. But the simple intention of saying, hey, I am me, and I am this entity, and I am calling you for some sort of spiritual self-development is so powerful. Okay, now clearly there are many different, once again, avenues that this can go down. There are darker forces. There are lighter forces. There are all kinds of forces that exist. But if you know generally based on your own intuition what forces you gravitate towards, towards so the most, and you start to really feel comfortable with those forces because once again there's that intuition within you or there's just that inner desire that you have that makes you feel comfortable with that force, the next step is to make the call. The next step is to take that energy and pull it into yourself. Okay? And this is so powerful and this is something that a lot of people do not take advantage of. I mean, if you truly think about it right now, if you think about the amount of people that exist on our planet today that don't have the ability to just say, you know what, I don't know everything. I'm clearly at a stage in evolution where there's a lot more progression to take place. Let me surrender my ego. Let me surrender my, my identity. And let me just say, I need help or I want guidance from something that is out there, right? There are so many people that don't have the ability to do that because they haven't embraced the unknown. They think they know everything. They think it's delusional. They think because they can't see it, it's not real. And once again, there's a lot of people that come from that perspective and those people will never take advantage of invocation, of the call. Therefore, those people will not have a direct connection or a influence from a higher dimensional force that exists in our universe, simply because they never open themselves up with the call. So if you're someone who's already applying the art of invocation, you are truly a unique individual just for being at a position in your life where you understand there is such a thing, okay? Now with that understanding, there also comes discipline and there comes routine that is necessary to get success out of the practice. 
I've mentioned this in other videos that I've created, but when you are disciplined in calling a specific energy, a specific entity, and you do calls over and over and over again, day after day after day, all you're doing is you're strengthening your energetic resonance. You're strengthening the energetic communication that you have between you and that higher dimensional force. Now clearly, the stronger that connection becomes, the more that force has an ability to influence you directly. So if you're dealing with a higher dimensional force and you have a strong connection to it, that higher dimensional force can start changing your behaviors. It can start changing your mindset. It can start manifesting real life physical circumstances in your daily life that are in accordance with you getting to your highest evolutionary potential, getting to your higher self. And literally, all of this can be triggered and can be started from a simple invocation. Okay? A simple invocation can unlock many different doors and many different avenues of other types of spiritual practices as well. All the different types of rituals that you can think of, all the different types of meditations that you can think of, can all start to be unlocked and opened up when you start establishing a disciplined relationship with another entity that exists in our universe that is clearly higher dimensional in nature through the simple practice of invocation, sending out that call. Okay? This alone is truly why I say the most important practice that anyone can take advantage of, which is literally one of the most simple and one of the most practical practices that you can do. I mean, literally, it is extremely simple, is invocation, okay? Consistent invocation, disciplined invocation, invocation where you have the true intention of learning and listening to understand. Not trying to prove something you think you already know, but being ready for change, being ready for transformation, okay? This is literally one of the most powerful things that anyone can take advantage of. Even if you are what we could call an advanced practitioner, there may be a misconception of people that think, oh, you know, if you're an advanced magician or if you're a high-level occultist, you don't do the beginner practices anymore. You, you know rituals that no one else knows and that's what you focus on, okay? Or you have specific types of spells and rituals that are unknown to everyone else and that's what makes you so unique and so powerful. And that's not the case at all. Okay, the most powerful magicians on the planet, literally the most advanced occultists, are utilizing consistently the most fundamental practices on a daily basis. And this is why they have such deep connections to the entities that guide them as well as their own inner being. Because once again, when you're invoking higher dimensional forces, you are becoming higher dimensional as well. Because the more you're connecting with that force, the more that force is influencing you. Clearly, if it's higher dimensional, you are being influenced by higher dimensional perspective, higher dimensional behaviors, higher dimensional life experiences that set you up for being a higher dimensional being. Okay, but this only comes from serious, consistent, and disciplined invocation. And this, once again alone, can trigger many different types of rituals and can trigger many different types of other initiations that would blow your mind because they were all rooted in that one fundamental practice of invocation, sending out the call. Okay, truly, I'm telling you, 
the call is valuable. It takes a certain type of person to say, I am a spirit, I am a soul that exists within this massive universe. And I am truly connected to everything. I am connected to the source. The source exists within me as it does within everything I interact with. So there must be other things out there that potentially could help me. Other things out there that could potentially get me to where it is that I need to be on a spiritual level. And to be that type of person that feels this intuition and understands that within themselves and then sends out the call, once again, you are a different person than the mass collective because most people do not understand that. Most people do not send out the call. Once again, most people are locked into, I know everything, I am me and I exist only as me, no one else is me. And I don't know what happens after death, but I think I should be good because that means I'm going to go to heaven, possibly. And that's typically as far as someone's ego allows them to go. Where a lot of people even think that they're the only beings in the universe. That we as the human species are the only living beings. There are truly people that think that. And that is so false, it's laughable to somebody like myself. And once again, if you've gotten to the point within yourself where you've recognized you're just a small sliver of what is inside of our universe when it comes to life, then you would be more open to sending out that call and be more receptive to external universal influence. And once again, that can serve you very, very, very much if you take advantage of it, okay? So with that being said, this is one of the most important practices that you can apply on a daily consistent basis and you will see things unfold that you would be completely shocked about, okay? But once again, this is going to require you to really consistently be invoking a force, an entity, a spirit that you already feel drawn to something that you feel like is meant in your life, something that you feel like you want to be a part of or is already a part of you. And that's the practice, okay? So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, this is where I'm going to wrap up this video. I know this was a very simple video and this was a very practical video, but every now and then, these little reminders are extremely important for people who have already been practicing and obviously for people that are beginners oh, because, um, because this information is what is considered fundamental in nature. This is a part of the baseline of what sets up people in this field for success. Okay, so that is why I'm making this video. So once again, if you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button. Also come down here and hit that notification bell because I post videos as often as I can, and with content like this, you absolutely do not want to be missing out. Also, come down here and hit the subscribe button, because if you're not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel and you continuously consume my content, then you're making a very big mistake, because by subscribing, you can further link into the information, which will literally help you gain more value from the content itself. Okay, so if you wanna take advantage of it, subscribe. If not, forget about it, okay? The next thing is literally the most important link within the entirety of the YouTube description. If you click the arrow drop down, it's the first link at the top. This is where you can join my Patreon. On my Patreon, I have an entire vault of exclusive occult content. None of this content is on my public YouTube channel and that is for many intentional reasons. It is not meant for the public, okay? I have content that is similar to videos like this I have content in the form of live streams with tons of valuable information embedded within them. And then I have practical content, which teaches you fundamental occult practices that you can perform and you can see me perform on camera 
that are extremely important to understand to get success out of this field. Literally exactly what we were talking about in this video with the art of invocation is the first video that I've ever recorded on my Patreon, okay, where I teach you the process of how to do it successfully. All right. Then as you move into tier three and up, you're gaining access to an entire magic training course, which I feel like would be extremely valuable, especially if you're a beginner occultist and you're looking for a structured format to follow to start developing some of your psychic capabilities. Then as you move into, uh, excuse me, tier number four, this is the top tier of the Patreon. And not only is this, this the top tier, this is also the most popular tier of the Patreon as well. This is what's known as the Universe B Vampire Service. Okay, This is a service that I perform on the 29th of every single month that has one, and it's designed to change the entire energetic structure of all the participants of the service itself to be more so what I call Universe B Dominant, which essentially means more so negatively polarized. Okay, So what this does is this gives these individuals an ability to exist within the darker energy areas and locations of the multiverse itself without inherently getting harmed by them, but rather developing knowledge, wisdom, and understanding and potential power from them instead. Okay, This also gives these individuals an ability to be more so receptive to their unconscious and their subconscious mind, which is feminine in nature. And it also gives them a psychic capability to pull in energy from dark energy and chaos from their environment and then transmute it into themselves with their own power and evolutionary potential. Okay, If this is something that intrigues you and you want to take advantage of this month's service, then all you have to do is sign up for the top tier within the Patreon and you can do so. Okay, with that, that's gonna wrap it up. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to give a special shout out specifically to everyone who is a Patreon member for taking your knowledge, your practices, and your studies to that other side. Big shout out to all of you, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, now as we move into the second link below in the YouTube description, this is where you can book a very unique tarot card reading from me. This is a tarot card reading that I promise you have never received before in your life. And the reason is, is because I understand the Kabbalistic tree way more than the average person. So what I can do is I can literally pinpoint exactly where you are on that Kabbalistic tree. I can tell you what you're feeling, experiencing, and going through in the present moments, and then tell you what to expect as you move into your near and your long-term future, all based on your positioning on that Kabbalistic tree itself. Okay, I've done well over 700 readings at this point. I do a reading every single day. I receive tons of valuable feedback. Okay, If this is something that you want to take advantage of, second link below is where you can book the reading with me. Okay, Now also, within that same second link below, you can book a one-on-one -on -one call with me. So if you're someone who has more so intimate questions for your own personal journey and you want to communicate with somebody like myself to maybe get some perspective on what it is that you're experiencing or going through, then definitely booking a one-on-one -on -one call is what I would recommend. Okay. I also have options of mentorship for six weeks and three months. If you're someone who's really taking your practice to that next level, specifically recommended if you're going through initiations and you're looking for a guide to help basically walk you through the process and give you perspective on what you're going through and why you're going through it. If this is something that you're doing, then I would highly recommend looking into the mentorship options. If any of these sound interesting to you, once again, go into that second link below within the YouTube description and you can read the details of these different services that I provide. Okay. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, that's where we're going to wrap that up. Then I'm going to take your awareness to the third link in the YouTube description. Okay. At the third link, this is where you can become a YouTube member. As you become a YouTube member, you're gaining access to a multitude of different benefits, but primarily you're gaining access immediately to the Psychic Warfare Emoji Program, which is a sequence of emojis that I've created myself that are based on real occult principles, and you can use them in a specific configuration 
link in the name of a target, hit enter, and it actually causes psychic effects to that target of your choice. This is the most simple form of utilizing psychic warfare through the internet platform, and there are almost 2,000 posts where individuals have taken advantage of this program. There are even people in this moment that are taking advantage of it as we speak. Okay, if this is something that you want to tap into yourself, you can definitely do so. Once again, it's at that third link in the YouTube description. All you have to do is click it and then join and become a YouTube member. Okay, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, this is where it's going to be wrapped up. I appreciate all of you very, very much, and I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or night, wherever you are, and I will see you in the near future. Peace.